Richard Goodstein advised Hillary Clinton during both of her presidential campaigns. He joins us on the set now. Um, thanks a lot, for, Richard. Thanks sure, for, for coming on. So the way it typically uh, unfolds between you and me is I say, can you believe this happened? And you say, Hillary Clinton did nothing wrong right-wing crazies making up stories again. So let's try something new. We're going to do what we call the revulsion test. I'm going to read you a series of statements which are true, and you tell me if they bother you. How's that? Here we go. Let's try it. Does it bother you the Justice Department decided not to charge Hillary Clinton in the email case before completing the investigation into her or interviewing her personally? Does that bother you? Uh, what doesn't bother me is the fact that every good lawyer, every good prosecutor, every good judge, before the decision is handed down, pretty much kind of decides what the facts of the case and the law would be. And basically, because they have a deadline, they're not going to write it the kind of the, the morning of, right? So they want to write a scholarly document that's well received. So of course, they, they know what the evidence is going to be. They knew what Hillary was going to say. This was no surprise. They, they, this was the suggestion that somehow or other, oh. that's that what she was going to tell them was going to be different when they had all the evidence in. Well, this that's is so silly. striking. I mean, so they knew, as you said, they knew what the evidence was going to be before before they gathered it all, and they no, no, I didn't think no, no, say. You well, they hadn't come. No, no, so no, I guess on. the question arises: like, Why have an investigation at all? Why interview <laughs> well, anybody? I didn't say because you. we know what we know. So why don't we just charge people we believe are guilty and exonerate those we yeah. think are innocent? So they had access to tens of thousands of emails, right? right? And they had testimony from plenty of people. And as is the case, you end up having kind of the big fish last, right? And you pretty much know by that point what that person is going to say because you have all the documentary evidence um, to support it. So it's not the well, case. So how that would they, you know what she was going to say? I mean, unless you're clairvoyant. I mean, this is a living person. You ask specific questions. You don't know what the person's going to say. I interview people for a living. I don't know what they're going to say. Of course. Right. And all I'm saying is they had the documentary evidence. She had it. She prepared herself for it. Look, can I just say one thing? Donald Trump said he wants the Hillary Clinton test, right? So when he's questioned, he wants to have it, whatever he said. I agree. The Hillary test should be 11 and a half hours under cameras, okay. under the heat, just like she had for Benghazi. That's what he for should For Benghazi, it's a different investigation. Well, I just, look, I, 11 and a half look, hours. I'm, I'm just asking. You know, I'm not. And I'm not arguing that Hillary should go to jail. I'm arguing about the integrity. I'm concerned about the integrity of our justice system. And if we're deciding that people are innocent or guilty before completing the investigation into them or even interviewing them, yeah. I have concerns, don't you? Look, no, not in this case. The suggestion that the FBI was somehow in her hip pocket is so twisted that most people would say, no, Comey broke the rules on July oh, okay, 5th. Okay. Comey that, broke that's, the rules that's by a releasing thing. the letter. That's a, okay, so, and he broke the rules by so not telling not, the public what he was in okay. on about, about right. Trump's work So Comey's bad. You're not going to hear me defend him. I'm just talking about the process here. So, okay, you're not bothered by that. Here's a second question. Are you bothered by this? This come from, comes from an FBI agent who was investigating Donald Trump, and I'm quoting, I want to believe he can't, Trump can't get elected, but I can't take that risk. Right. Does it bother you that Peter Strzok, the FBI agent official who wrote that, was investigating Trump at the time? You know, he said awfully bad things about Bernie Sanders does that and Chelsea you? Clinton. Look, do, does it bother me that somebody working in the that FBI risk. What do you think that has means? political views? Again, he had said equally unkind no. things about no, 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 people but with the last not, name but of hold Clinton. On, no, let's just be totally clear. It's not about his political views, which he's entitled to. And like most federal employees, he's liberal. I get it. I live here. He is involved at the highest level of the investigation. No, he's into not. Trump. Robert Mueller, who's a lifelong Republican, is the highest level of the investigation. Okay. Peter Strzok was in every interview with somebody else from the FBI. Okay, but you're, so you're, really you're, making, you're making my point. He's not running it. I didn't say he was. Right. But at the level below the guy running it, which is Mueller, you have Peter Strzok. And he is saying, and I'm quoting, I want to believe he can't get elected, but I can't take that risk. We don't know what that means. Here's what we do know. If that was written by someone investigating Hillary Clinton, I would join you in denouncing that as terrifying. I guarantee you, if the facts were the Russians offered help, the uh, Clinton campaign said, love it, the Russians proceeded to offer help, and that Hillary Clinton used that 100 times on the campaign trail, by now we would have impeachment proceedings, no question. Okay, but so if I'm it was not, twisted, right. no, I no, agree. No, look, I want to believe he can't get elected, but I can't take that risk. This isn't a person, a person in a position to influence the outcome with the full force of the federal mm. government behind him, mm. to influence the outcome of the Trump presidency. Well, no. I, yes, he is, well, of course. He's, he is one of the officials running the at this point. Trump presidency is going to rise what? or fall on the facts okay. that, that, that Robert Mueller comes So it doesn't, it doesn't bother you that the guy said, I can't take the risk that Trump's going to get elected, says the guy investigating Trump on behalf of the FBI. It doesn't bother you. This guy sent 50,000 text messages in five months, 10,000 a month. How was he even getting really? work done? Where are they? So this is my third question. So we've uh, been told by the federal government that they've lost five months of text messages between Lisa Page and Peter Strzok. 
Do you believe that? Does it bother you that they could have, law, quote, law? I'm not sure how, A, how you lose a text message, since okay. my impression was they endure forever. Right. If you try and cheat the IRS, you'll find out they're there. Agreed. They lost them somehow, and we're supposed to nod and kind of bovine acceptance. So sure you did. Does that bother you I'm at all? I'm not nodding. No, I, look, I hope they find them. No, but what, I, do, you, what do you make of the fact that they look, lost them? Uh, Tucker, there's all these adult conspiracy theories as a distraction from what oh. it is that we're finding out with each passing day, each passing plea of guilt. Okay. That's what this is about. I think we can have multiple conversations simultaneously. And as I've said from day one, when they find the tax from Vladimir Putin to Donald Trump saying, I pledge to get you elected, I will it be the may first not be to that, but it Trump. may be a conversation between but Manafort on, hold on. and Trump. At the same time, you would hate to think that a byproduct of this investigation is the corruption of our justice system. And I'm beginning to think, based on a lot of data points whose accuracy you have not contested, that we have a real problem with the way we investigate political crimes, when, both when, of Hillary and of Donald Trump. In the run-up to the election, when Rudy Giuliani was talking about FBI agents in Brooklyn, these were not people who were friendly to Hillary Clinton. He was getting inside information that was information helpful to Donald Trump. Well, I, so I agree there's a problem. Oh, okay. But it's not a problem that so, cuts uh, in Trump's so favor. So one out of three bothers you. That's pretty, you're, you're a very tolerant man, Richard Goodstein. Thank okay. you for joining us. Sure.